I haven't publicly said anything about all of this because it's not my style. But now it is. I've had it fucking enough. Kim has had enough. Oh boy, <laughs> she's not a happy bunny. She's had enough of Usman, she's had enough of the new woman in his life. Heck, she's even had enough of the old woman in his life. So I'm going to bring you up to speed on everything that's happened since we last saw them on our screens. From allegations of bullying to new relationships, cast romance, death, and a whole lot more. So let's dive in. So as I'm sure you recall, the last time we saw Usman and Kim, they'd broken up in dramatic style. I cannot continue this way. I cannot be in a relationship that is so toxic and it look unhealthy to me. You are a ass. I'm done. <laughs> but on the tell all, they really tried their best to present a united front. They wanted the world to believe that they'd be friends forever. But the problem was, we could all see that Kim wanted more than just friendship. Are you still together as a couple? No. And I told him we could just be friends with benefits. I'm good with that. But <laughs> so oh, wait, I, I wait, that. wait a minute. Yeah, that seemed like wishful thinking from Kim. I mean, it presumed that Usman was sexually attracted to her. But was that really the case? I mean, Usman never really seemed interested in the physical side of things. Their lack of sex was always such a big sticking point for Kim throughout their time together. After all, Usman seemed far more interested in the other stuff that she could give him. Things like MacBooks, PS5s, a green card, or even a cow. Some of them are like a bribe. It's not a bribe. That, that is so not a bribe. So, Kim was always willing to do just about anything to keep Usman and his family happy. Heck, she was okay with him taking a second wife. She agreed to adopt his nephew. But for all her attempts to try and make Usman happy, it always felt like he had one foot out of the relationship. He never seemed fully committed. He never seemed to want it as much as she did. But the problem was, he point blank refused to accept that she was sacrificing more than him. She's so much older than me, it's me that's sacrificing for her, was his argument. If Kimbali breaks up with me, the reality is that we both gonna uh, regret it, but she'll regret more. I'm 33, she's 51. At your age, at my age, you tell me to break up. If you break up, you think I have anything to regret? So with age obviously being such a big issue, both for him and his family, what's Usman's dating life been like since appearing on the show? Has he continued his habit of dating older women? Well, yes, but not as old as Kim and his ex Lisa. You see, after breaking up with Kim in July 2022, by the summer of 2023, Usman went public with his new girlfriend, Kira who was only a mere four years older than Usman. Now, Kira and Usman met on Instagram. As seems to be an ongoing reoccurring theme with him, his new girlfriend was also from America, and things seemed to develop quite quickly. Before too long, he was posting on social media about how he was in love. He was referring to her as his wife. Who said I love you first? Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Who is grumpier in the morning? Who is more romantic? <laughs> yeah, they seemed very loved up. They seemed to be very happy. Even his post announcing their relationship referred to love. Love is a beautiful thing. It's amazing to fall in love and get it back in return. I'm officially off the market, not by force, but by choice, Usman wrote. I can't help but feel that that not by force remark was a subtle jab at Kim, implying, I think, that she strong armed him into a relationship. Now, things got so serious between Kira and Usman that he even introduced her to his mum. They were spending time together in the UK whilst Usman was doing his UK tour. There were even rumours that they'd appear on another season of the show together. But maybe Usman should stick to much older women because this relationship didn't last very long. Just one month after going Instagram official, the pair called it quits. 
Kira did an interview with In Touch where she said, It is with a heavy heart that I announce I have chosen to end my relationship with Usman. Clearly stressing the fact that she was the one that ended the relationship. And she went on to say, Upholding personal boundaries is essential for my happiness and well-being. I firmly believe that a healthy relationship should be built on mutual respect, understanding and support. Wow, so from the sounds of things, the honeymoon period fizzled out pretty fast. Reading between the lines, it seems like Kira left the relationship feeling pretty disrespected. Quote, by sharing this update publicly, I hope it inspires others to prioritise their well-being and to stand firm in asserting boundaries within their relationships. I encourage all women to know their worth, set healthy boundaries, and never settle for anything less than the love and respect they deserve. That's a very interesting public statement, isn't it? That I encourage all women to know their worth parts in particular sounds very similar to what Kim was saying. She also constantly felt like Usman tore her down, made her feel worthless, made her feel like she was never good enough. Why are you even with me? And I shouldn't have to feel that way. I have to do all this to conform to you. What the are you doing for me? You can't even hold a conversation with me. We don't even have sex. Now, since the breakup, Kira has been wiped clean off Usman's feed, and her own feed is now filled up with loved up photos of her new man. When asked about what happened between her and Usman, her only response was, who? Clearly the kind of relationship she wishes to forget about then. So how did Kim deal with all of this? Well, while Usman and Kira were still together, Kim was supportive at least as supportive as she could be. She told her Instagram followers that while, quote, we do not talk now, I wish amazing things for him. But something must have changed because sometime in early October, about three months after Usman and Kira had split up, Kim went on a live stream and started to air her grievances. She seemed particularly annoyed at the fact that Usman had misled both her and Kira about the nature of their relationships. I was told by him that his latest ex-girlfriend was just a friend, like a best friend. Apparently she was told that I was a co-star cool on the show. How someone could believe that, I will never know. According to Kim, Usman told her that Kira was only a friend, and he told Kira that Kim was merely a co-star on the show, not a woman he'd been in a relationship with for three years, a woman he'd been engaged to. The person who's at fault for all this is Usman. Not me. Not me. I've dealt with him privately. And I, and I have to move on from it, okay? Why Usman would do that is really strange. Like, it's not as if Kira couldn't just Google all the nasty details about Usman and Kim's relationship. And I think she may just have done that. You see, in the very same live stream, Kim calls out both Kira and Usman's ex-wife, Lisa. Apparently, Kira and Lisa have developed some sort of twisted friendship, and both of them are teaming up to bully Kim online. I've had it fucking enough. Now his ex-girlfriend and his ex-wife are friends. Both his exes have mocked me, talked shit about me, brought up my past, and totally slandered my name. The hate, the bullying, the everything. For what? What? <laughs> What's going on here? Why exactly would Kira and Lisa join forces to mock and slander Kim, as she claims? Well, get this. They both apparently claim that Kim faked her relationship with Usman for clout. And that allegation has led Kim to push back and defend herself. I loved Usman with every bit of my heart. Do you think I would fake it for a fucking show? I'm sure after this live, both of them will once again make reels and stories about me. Go ahead, ladies. There's your 15 minutes. How does talking shit about me heal either one of you? I still talk to his family every week. Did y'all know that? No, nobody knows that. Interesting. So not only is Kim switching that back on them and claiming they're in it for 15 minutes of fame, but she also claims she's still in touch with Usman's family. So does that mean that Usman and Kim are also still on good terms? Are they still talking? Well, no, it doesn't appear as though they are. You see, apparently after Kim blocked 
Kira. She and Usman had a fight and she blocked him too. She's clearly doing what she needs to do in order to move on. And to this day, they don't follow each other on social media. And another person that Kim doesn't follow is Usman's ex, baby girl Lisa. You see, Kim reveals that Lisa has been incessantly harassing her for the entirety of her relationship with Usman. Another one, his ex-wife, who has stalked my fucking life for three years. I blocked his ex-wife because of her bad behavior. It's disgusting. Now, it's no secret that Lisa still has an axe to grind with Usman. She's very clearly still bitter about how things went between them. Like, they haven't been together for years and years, but she still posts about him and even uses his music on her videos. It's not healthy, Lisa. Let go. And Kim reveals that actually Lisa's been acting even worse than that. He said Usman's family stuff about my ex-husband and about my past from 25 years ago. Nobody even knows the full story. And she's called Usman incessantly from different numbers. One time I was in Nigeria with him and she called 36 times for attention. Ma'am, you stole his money and you called him a racial slur. He'll never talk to you again. Those are some pretty serious accusations, especially considering Lisa is now married to a new man. Why would she be ringing Usman up 36 times? Now, for his part, Usman also wants to distance himself from Lisa. He too has been very public about how she's always talking about him. And although he may say, Mama, I wish you well, I don't think he really means it. You see, when Lisa uploaded a story sharing her weight loss journey, Usman reshared that story with his own commentary, saying, I think this woman needs a prayer. Is she sick or something? Because she looks 99 years old in my eyes. Ouch, I think. Although knowing Usman, that might just be him flirting. Now, as brutal as that is of Usman, you can't say that she hasn't brought it on herself. You see, Lisa has also apparently been harassing Kim's family. Kim claims that Lisa was sending DMs to her sister, pestering her, asking why she hadn't appeared on the show. That is, until Kim's sister sadly passed away. Sadly, Kim has faced quite a number of deaths over the last one and a half years. We all remember her grieving the loss of her mum that was filmed during the show. But in addition to that, she also lost her sister Terry exactly one day after the one year anniversary of losing her mum. This, sadly, is the second sibling that Kim has lost. Her brother has also passed away. So yeah, to go through a massive breakup, a public breakup, and lose two of your closest family members in such quick succession has really impacted her, has changed her as a person. One month after her sister's passing, Kim revealed that she's got a new look. And yeah, of course, while changing your hairstyle is a small thing, what it signified was that Kim was ready for a fresh new start. And not only has she lost weight, but she seems to be glowing. Quote, I've made many changes for myself this past year. Hair, skincare, and other lifestyle changes. But one thing about me is I will always be me. And Kim's progress doesn't stop there. She's managed the huge milestone of buying her first home. That's no mean feat given California house prices. You see, having lived in the same home her whole life, the home that we saw her sharing with her mum, it was time for, quote, a fresh start, new beginnings. And new beginnings certainly seems fitting. She's quit her job as a waitress and landed a new job as a spa receptionist. And that spa self-love theme has carried across into her business. Kim's launched her own beauty care product, a body splash, called, wait for it, Super Blossom by Kimbali. But despite the clear throwback to Usman in the name of her body splash, it's obvious that she's ready to leave the past, her history with Usman, behind. This is like the saddest day ever. It's time for Kimberly to move on. Really thought you were like the love of my life. So has Kim found anyone new? Is she dating anyone right now? 
Well, there's a lot of rumours. Rumours that involve another 90 Day Fiancé cast member, Riley. It all started when they appeared to be heavily flirting with each other on a live stream. We're going to go out to dinner as a group, and then we're going to go out to dinner, Kim. Oh my god. Riley, stop it. You look beautiful with gray hair or without it, you know. Oh, he's trying to be all charming. Look at him. Now, Kim commented saying they're just friends, but they did look particularly close at Ty Ray's birthday. Heck, Riley's dad even refers to Kim as his future daughter-in-law. Look at him. Where's your dad at? He is home. He just actually texted me right before I got on. He was like, oh my god, my, my future daughter-in-law is on live. You should... Yeah, that's a strange one, right? And even Usman had his say on the matter. He left laughing emojis, and when a comment was made saying, you snooze, you lose, he replied with a particularly snide comment saying, I didn't lose anything, I promise. That comes across as a bit insulting, maybe he's feeling a bit jealous. But it's not just Kim who's flirting with co-stars. You see, Usman's at it too. In November 2023, he began publicly flirting with Courtney. Remember her? Well, when she was sharing photos of her trip to Turkey, fans asked her if she bumped into Sarpa and Shekinah. To which she responded, no, but Soja Boy is supposed to come. And he replied saying, I'm coming soon, baby. What on earth? Could it possibly be real? Or is this just retaliation for Kim flirting with Riley? Is it just his attempt to remain in the public eye? He's definitely been busy churning out tracks, and he's even dipped his toe into the world of acting. He's been working on season two of his web series called Yahoo Boy. An interesting choice of title, as it refers to Nigerian scammers. To be fair, season one did do quite well. Some episodes have had over a quarter of a million views, although others have about 30,000 views, so a bit of discrepancy there. But overall, it seems like Usman and Kim are both doing well in their respected, independent lives. And that's the important part. After the toxic relationship that they had, that independence really is best for all concerned, isn't it?